Welcome back to Morning After, everyone. 1025 here on this Monday morning, and it's time to dish with the Daily Mail. And Alicia Quarles joining us live from the Daily Mail offices in New York. Good morning to you, Alicia. Good morning. Happy Monday. Girl, we are seeing you up close and personal today. I know. I'm a little close. I'm a little close. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm doing this on my camera. you got to bear with me. You no, listen. Bear with me. You're beautiful. If you're here, you're there. I mean, there you go. Uh, a little better? Okay, perfectly thanks. framed. Perfectly framed. Um, so the Kennedy Center honors are back. President Trump put a pause on it for four years. We, we didn't have this event. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know why, but all right, it's back. And it is. Yeah. yeah and the president um, this time around really kind of being self-effacing, showing a sense of humor as he honored legends, including Barry Gordy. Well, that's right. I mean, President Trump put it on hold back then because a lot of these artists didn't want to be around him or deal with it. But there, a lot of them are supporters of Biden. So, yes, Barry Gordy, 92 years old, he was honored. Lionel Richie, his lifetime friend, actually honored him. Um, we also had Joni Mitchell being honored. We had Bette Midler, who was honored, and Adele actually did her voiceover. Um, so Oprah uh, did also Barry Gordy's. So there was just a lot of love. Lauren Michaels was honored for everything that he's done for the arts and for music. So it was it was a beautiful night. Yeah, Barry Gordy, 92, when you think Motown, he is the architect of Motown and so many acts that he discovered and produced. I mean, the list goes on. Of course, I think the Supremes, right? Yep, that's yeah. right. The Supremes, of course, he was famously, you know, his daughter was Diana Ross. I mean, we can go on and on and on. L uh, Little Richard, Smokey Robinson, The Temptations. I mean, just his lexicon is huge. The president kind of roasted Lauren Michaels and said, you're a wise guy. It took seven actors. You've had seven guys trying to play me. He did. You know, he said that for all this time, so he's been waiting to roast Lauren for all the times that he's roasted Biden. But it was funny. He also had Steve Martin up there who roasted Lauren Michaels. He had a lot of the SNL um, alumni and current and present. So it, it was really a, a fun night. Yeah, the, I think the president said at one point, if you, you know, laughter is good for the soul. And if you can't laugh at yourself, what can you laugh at? Um, all right. So uh, Jennifer Lawrence, she is going for the gold. She definitely is a golden girl, in fact. So there she is looking beautiful in that dress. That's the Netflix premiere yesterday for her movie, Don't Look Up. It's with Leonardo DiCaprio. It comes out at the end of December. You know, she's been promoting the movie, but she also gave an interview. She's expecting her first child, Cliff Mulroney. And she said in that interview, really, she doesn't mind people come up to her and ask her about her pregnancy. But right now, every inclination in her is to protect her baby and the baby's privacy. It's just occurred to me as well. I mean, this says she, she's 31 years old. 31 years old, a dual Oscar winner. I mean, she's just accomplished so much. And in fact, she said that she felt she was overexposed. People were getting tired of her. So for the past couple of years, she kind of took a back seat to the spotlight. I never attached an age to her one way or the other, but I'm shocked yeah. that she's as young as she is because, again, sort of like Adele, she's been with us and done such great work at such a young age that you sort of kind of forget that and don't realize she's still a, a, a young woman. Still incredibly young, and it's funny that you bring up Adele. The two of them are very, very good friends, have a very similar sense of humor. All right, you've got some news for us with Spotify. That's right. So Spotify, if you notice, some of your favorite comedians are not on the platform anymore. I'm talking John Mulvaney, Tiffany Haddish, Kevin Hart. So they had a deal with their publishing companies to get rights, like most artists do. Um, from Spotify, Spotify saying, "Wait, that really wasn't the deal that we signed with this company, Spoken Giants." So they removed a lot of their content. These kinds of battles seem to be just inherent of the evolution of technology, right? You had, you had television stars, for example, of sitcoms who never realized syndication would be a thing, and they ended up finding themselves without any residuals or royalties. So they're just protecting their interests, I guess, right? A thousand percent. If you think about it, most of these comedians write their own material, or they have people that are writing with them, so they deserve royalties just like any other, you know, musical artists, they're the ones creating this content. Yeah, we know Spotify is making money off it, that's for sure. All right, Alicia, right. good to see you as always. You have a good week there. Thank you, you as well. All righty, and remember, you can watch the Daily Mail TV weekday mornings at 11 a.m. right after morning after here on CW33.